I've been testing Procreate 5.2's beta for the last week, and I wanted to answer how many layers do you get with Procreate 5.2 over Procreate 5.0. Tony here, we talk art and design tech, subscribe for more. In this video, I'll be comparing the 2018 iPad Pro to the 2021 iPad Pro with the M1 chip and mini LED screen. We'll be looking at how many layers will be available based on canvas sizes in the new update of Procreate 5.2. The 2018 iPad Pro in this video uses four gigabytes of RAM for the memory. It has 256 gigabytes of storage. The model that will be using Procreate 5.2 is the 2021 M1 iPad Pro. It has one terabyte of storage and 16 gigabytes of memory available. However, Procreate 5.2 will be using up to six gigabytes of memory from that device. Just to make everything clear, the 2018 will be on the left and the 2021 will be on the right. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my iPads and let's begin this comparison. So I'm laying down the 2018 model. I'm laying down the 2021 model. So this is 5.0 on the 2018 model with a thousand by a thousand pixels. It's 250 layers. So let's see what it is for the 2021 model with Procreate 5.2. So 1,000 by 1,000, it gives us 1,875 layers. That's a massive difference. So you can already see there's a lot more layers available. 250 to 1,000 and 800, that's crazy. So let's see what we have when we go to 2,000. 2,000 pixels by 2,000 pixels we have 130 layers. This is on the 2018 model and it has four gigabytes of RAM available to use for this program. Again, the 5.2 and Procreate, it's using six gigabytes of RAM. So we see 465. That's even more than it had for a thousand on the 2018 model. So we can see 130 on this one. Let's take it up to 3000 by 3000. And we are coming at 55 layers on the 2018 model. Let's see what we have on the 2021 with the beta for Procreate 5.2. So 3000 by 3000, we're at 204. So now that we're at 3,000, we're touching 200. We were in the 200s with 1,000 on the previous model. So we can see it's a lot more layers available already. So we're in the double digits on the 2018. Let's see where we go when we add 4,000. So 4,000 by 4,000, we're at 29 layers on the 2018 model. Let's see what we have on the 2021 with Procreate 5.2. I can't believe it's 200 for 3,000, that's crazy. So 4,000 by 4,000, we're at 113 layers available. Wow, that's crazy. That is crazy. 29 on the older model and 100, that's wow. You can't even say that's double, like that's just, wow. So 5,000 by 5,000 on the 2018 model. We have 17 layers available. Okay, 17 layers, 17, remember 17. Let's do 5,000 for this one and see where we're at. So 5,000 by 5,000, we're at 71. So it's the exact opposite. 5,000 on the other model is 17. On the newer model, it's 71. And this is a software change, right? So Procreate 5.2 is just using more of the RAM available. That's crazy. So 6,000 by 6,000, we have 10 layers on the 2018 model. So 
So we're getting into more details, more um, detailed work. 6,000 by 6,000 on here. We're at 48. So now we're starting to get into territory where we're starting to find we're losing some layers available, okay? We're getting into those double digits, but look at 10, 10 layers. What can you do with 10 layers? I mean, that's crazy. 48, you can definitely have some wiggle room there. So 7,000, let's just go there. Let's just continue to go further. We have six layers available. 7,000 by 7,000. I don't think we even went this far with our previous comparison but let's continue to see what the performance looks like. So 7,000 on the Procreate 5.2 and any model that uses above four gigabytes, it's 34, wow. So we're starting to really see those numbers decrease the bigger that it gets. And bear in mind, like as you increase your canvases, unless you're doing a square canvas for every piece that you do, more than likely the height or the width is going to vary. So it's not most likely that it's gonna be the exact number. But let's see what 8,000 by 8,000 is. So we have four layers. That's just, what are you doing? What kind of stuff are you creating at this point? Let's try 8,000 by 8,000. So we have 25 layers available. This is kind of more the territory that we were in uh, before this update. We didn't have a lot of layers available. We were really struggling to do our work. Um, and now at least 8,000 is an option. You know, 25 layers is, wow. So 9,000 is the cap for the older model. I don't know that anyone is using that, but I just wanted to see, you know, that's where it starts to tell you too large, like stop playing, delete the canvas. Um, let's see what it does with the 5.2. So 9,000 by 9,000, 19 layers available. Wow. That's crazy. Wasn't that available, was it 5,000? Where it was 17 on the previous model? That's crazy. 10,000, you have 14 layers available. Remember 17 was one of the previous for 5,000. Now, 10,000 is reaching those numbers. That is crazy. Is it worth it for you to upgrade to this many layers? And do you even use this many layers? If you wanna know even more differences between the 2018 and the 2021 models of the iPad Pro, check out this video next.